At the beginning of the movie, two cops are transporting a felon named Krug along a dark road. The men are caught up in their conversation. Meanwhile, Krug looks around, seemingly expecting someone. The car comes to a stop at the train crossing when a pickup truck slams into their car. Out step two masked figures, and one shoots the driver dead. The male figure is Francis, Krug's brother, and the second is Sadie, Krug's girlfriend. Krug brutally hangs the final cop with his seatbelt, showing him a picture of his own daughter as he dies. We then meet Mari, a competitive swimmer, trying to beat her personal time with her mother, Emma, there to support her. Emma goes to get John, her husband, a surgeon at a local hospital, as the family is supposed to be going on a road trip. Mari drives while John catches some rest in the backseat, and soon they arrive at their beautiful lakeside home. Mari moves into the guest house, while John and Emma get relaxed in the main home. On the lake is a fishing house, and Mari goes to check it out, where she sees some guys boating on the lake. She then goes for a swim in the waters. The following day, Mari wants to borrow the car to meet up with her friend Paige. While Emma is reluctant, John willingly throws her the keys, gives her cash, and tells her to have fun. Emma makes her promise to call while she is out. Mari heads into town where Paige works as a cashier at a local store. The two catch up on their lives and the death of Mari's brother, Ben. While they chat, a boy named Justin comes to grab some snacks. Paige is a bit too friendly with the stranger, introducing Mari to him also. Justin wants to buy cigarettes, but since he does not have ID, he invites them to his motel where he has some premium stuff. Paige accepts his offer and gives him the cigarettes. The three then head over to Justin's motel, and Paige follows him inside. As Mari sits in the car, she realizes that she has no signal. Mari gets impatient and also heads inside, where she sees Paige smoking on the bed with Justin. She then coaxes Mari to smoke with them, and she gives in. She gets a call from Emma, who wonders what time she plans to return, but Mari wants to spend the night with Paige. Emma begins to protest, but the lines begin to go bad, and the call drops. Soon, Paige and Mari are high out of their minds when they begin to ask Justin questions about his family. He does not share much info with them and quickly changes the subject. Justin seems to take a liking to Mari, and Paige begins to play matchmaker when suddenly the door opens, and in walk Francis, Sadie, and Krug, who turns out to be Justin's father. Justin nervously introduces the girls, but they can sense that something is off. Krug then punches Justin in the stomach, mad at him for bringing unknown people to their room, and shows him a newspaper with Krug and Sadie's pictures. The girls try to talk themselves out of the room, promising not to talk, but the guys refuse to let them go as they have seen their faces. Paige starts losing it and freaks out, she locks herself in the bathroom and tries signaling for help, but Francis grabs her and knocks her out. Mari pleads for Justin to say something, but Justin simply says sorry. Krug scolds him for knowing their situation and still getting the girls involved and tells him to take responsibility for his actions, forcing him to look Mari in the eyes. The group loads up in Mari's truck and sets out, Paige and Mari sandwiched between Francis and Sadie. After a while, they pull off onto a dirt track and are not sure which direction to take. Seeing a chance, Mari gives them the directions right back to the cabin and secretly presses the cigarette lighter. Once it's heated, Mari suddenly attacks Sadie and tries to escape. Krug gets distracted in the confusion and ends up running off the road and crashing into a few trees. Francis' nose is completely broken, and he takes out his rage on Mari and Paige. Sadie is furious about her burnt face and tries attacking Mari, but Paige hits her with a log and takes off running. Francis and Sadie are hot on her tail. Paige manages to hide from them briefly beneath a tree root, but before she can get to a construction site nearby, Francis and Sadie drag her back. They bring her back to the group, and Krug decides it's time for Justin to become a man and pick one of the girls. Justin is reluctant, so he drags him over to a restrained Mari and forces him to fondle her. Paige calls him pathetic, so Krug goes over to her, stabbing her in the stomach while Francis stabs her in the back, leaving her to bleed out. Mari holds her as she dies, but she has no time to mourn as Krug rips her clothes off and begins to have his way with her. She begs Justin for help, but Francis stops him from moving. Krug then rips off Mari's necklace and tosses it aside, and Justin picks it up. Once Krug is done, Mari struggles to her feet with a rock hidden in her hand. She slams it into Krug's face and takes off running and gets to the lake. Mari tries to swim for her life with Krug shooting at her. She almost gets away until a bullet hits her in the back, and they leave her to bleed out in the water. There is a storm coming in, and the rain begins to pour, so the four start looking for a place to shelter. John and Emma are having dinner when there is a heavy knock at the door. It is the four, who claim to have been in an accident. The couple invites them inside, and John helps Francis with his broken nose while Emma prepares hot chocolate for the group. 
The lights go out, and John leaves to start the generator, leaving Emma inside with the group. Emma starts getting a bad vibe from the group but holds it together and keeps a conversation with them. John soon returns and gets back to stitching Francis' nose. Emma hands Justin his chocolate in a red cup, and he starts glaring at his family. It turns out Mari is not dead and weakly crawls from the lake. Justin excuses himself to the kitchen when he sees Mari's pictures, realizing Emma and John are her parents. He almost passes out from the stress and rushes to the bathroom to break down. Krug comes to warn him to keep his mouth shut and not blow their cover. Justin, now filled with guilt, leaves Mari's necklace next to the red cup he drank from. He turns to see Krug, but Krug hasn't realized. Emma and John give up the lake house to the group and decide to sleep in the guest house. As they are about to close up, they hear banging outside and go to check it out. Outside on the porch, they are shocked to see a battered and wounded Mari hanging on to life. They bring her inside, where John has to get her breathing again. Emma runs to get supplies when she sees Mari's necklace next to Justin's cup and starts to realize her guests may not be guests after all. John tends to Mari's wounds when he realizes she has been assaulted and almost breaks down. He is then forced to improvise some items in order to drain the fluid building up in her lungs. As the parents try to wrap their heads around what is happening, Emma shows him Mari's necklace. John and Emma's tears soon turn into rage, and the two decide that tonight, they must be prepared to do anything to survive and bring Mari to a hospital. John rushes to the docks where he sees a boat, but there are no keys. Krug and the others get settled into bed, and Justin begins eyeing his gun. Once he gets up for the bathroom, Justin makes his move. He creeps into the room as Sadie is sleeping and steals the pistol. John returns, and he and Emma split up and start looking for the boat keys. As Emma is searching, she is startled by Francis, who came in to get beer. She cannot allow him to see Mari, so Emma pretends to flirt with him, claiming John is asleep upstairs. She manages to keep his eyes on her as she gets him wine and glasses. John is hunting for the keys in the shed when the sight of his tools starts to give him ideas. At the guest house, Francis thinks he is about to hit a home run with Emma. He enters another room and is shocked to see Mari, but Mari smashes him over the head with a bottle, then stabs him in the chest. Francis tries to fight back, but he suddenly runs into John. He tries to call for help, but John repossesses the work on his nose before dragging him back into the kitchen. Emma and John then drag him to the sink and hold his head under the dishwater. When he puts his hand in the sink, John turns on the garbage disposal, crushing his fingers before killing him with a hammer to the head. The two then head over to the main house and sneak inside, John armed with a fire poker and Emma with a kitchen knife. They get close to the room where Sadie and Krug are still in bed. They then see Justin holding Krug's gun, and he offers it to them. John sneaks over and takes the gun, shooting Sadie in the neck as she wakes. Krug and Sadie fight back, and Krug manages to jump through a window and run to the guest house. Sadie locks herself inside the bathroom as John comes after her. He breaks the door in, and the two end up in a struggle. Even Justin tries fighting her but gets knocked down, but Emma simply shoots her right in the eye. At the guest house, Krug stumbles upon Francis's body, realizing the mess he has gotten himself into. John leaves the gun with Emma and rushes back to the guest house with his fire poker in hand. He enters the dark house and begins searching for Krug but sees no one. It turns out Emma has moved Mari to the boat and is waiting for John. John begins calling for Krug to show himself, knowing that he is hiding somewhere. Krug calls out to him, wondering how John and Emma found them out. He suspects it was Justin and tells John he'll get him back for Francis. Krug slips into another room where he sees Emma by the lake. John rushes up the stairs and into a room where he sees the window open, but Krug is not gone and ambushes him. The two begin to fight, and John is not faring so well against Krug, who even kicks John down to the first floor. Krug approaches him with the poker in hand, taunting John for his failed efforts. He begins to beat John brutally. He then tells John that he enjoyed Emma and is about to strike the finishing blow when Justin holds a gun to Krug's head, telling him to stop. Justin is unable to shoot, so Krug smacks the gun away and stabs Justin in the stomach with a poker. Just then, both Emma and John beat Krug down and hit him over the head. They then return to Mari, and the family leaves the boathouse, also with Justin, whom they saved. Later, Krug wakes in the cabin with John standing over him. He has paralyzed Krug from the neck down. John then places Krug's head inside a microwave, telling him that everything will be okay. Krug's head begins to smoke before exploding.